My name is Chris Alfin. I'm a board certified OBGYN at Monarch Healthcare in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Today I'm going to talk about health in the first trimester. What to expect, what's going to be told to you by the physician, and how to establish care with the provider. Once you find out you're pregnant, the first thing you want to do is establish care with an OBGYN. This can be done in several ways. First, ask friends, family, women you know that have just had babies who their doctor was. Ask them about their experience and if they would recommend the same doctor. Next, do research on that doctor. You can find trusted websites on the internet such as health grades and then make an appointment with that physician. During that time, you'll be able to figure out what his or her practice is like and to know if you're a good fit with that practice and to see if what you desire for your pregnancy is the same thing that they desire for you. At that first appointment, you will get your very first ultrasound. At that ultrasound, you'll be given a due date. And that's the most accurate way to get an accurate due date for the pregnancy. During that ultrasound, they'll be able to tell you if your baby's growing well. If your baby has a heartbeat, you'll be able to see it on the monitor. And it's a very exciting time to be able to see your baby for the first time. One of the first symptoms that you may notice is nausea. Nausea can be fixed with a handful of over-the-counter remedies that you don't need a prescription for. The first one I recommend is ginger. Ginger capsules, ginger ale. Ginger you just find at a natural grocer in the vegetable aisle. Other things include vitamin B6 capsules and Unisom. Uh, the specific type of Unisom is called doxylamine. Again, all these can be found over the counter and are very safe to take in pregnancy. And you can try these even before coming to your provider. Another symptom you may feel is breast tenderness. This is very common. As your breasts start to engorge, preparing for pregnancy, preparing for breastfeeding, they can be tender. The only thing to help you with this can be Tylenol, which is safe in pregnancy, as well as maybe ice packs. Be prepared to get used to this, as this may last throughout the pregnancy and breastfeeding. Another symptom may be cramping. Cramping is a common symptom of pregnancy as your uterus starts to grow. It's the first time you've been pregnant. Your uterus is usually quite small and now has a baby inside. As it starts to grow, you can expect some cramping. There's not much that can help with cramping. It will go away with time. And as you get into your, through your first trimester, cramping will go away. Another common symptom of pregnancy is fatigue. This happens for a number of reasons. It could be from anemia, could be just a common symptom from the pregnancy, taking energy from your body. This can be fixed in a number of ways, from increasing your iron supplements to vitamin B6, which you're also taking for nausea, can also increase your energy levels. If you experience bleeding in the first trimester, call your doctor. Sometimes it can be completely benign, but the important thing would be to find out if this was something that could be affecting your baby. If it's a lot, go to the emergency room. If it's during office hours, call and make an appointment and be seen as soon as possible. Women often ask me about prenatal vitamins. I like taking prenatal vitamins in a pregnancy. This provides vitamins and minerals that your pregnancy needs that you may not get from your diet. Another question I get is about diet. What I recommend in a pregnancy is that you make sure that your meat is thoroughly cooked. Seafood is okay on occasion as long as the seafood that you're eating is not high in mercury. Other things to consider is that you can exercise regularly, it may not be the time to start an insanity workout, but if you've been doing that previously, continue it and I commend you for your efforts. After the first appointment, you're gonna have a lot of questions. That's okay, write them down and we'll be seeing you again in four weeks to discuss whatever else comes up over the next month. Again, congratulations. This is an exciting time in your life. Take the time to make an appointment and go over any questions you may have with your provider.